This video is going to show you how to change your set point on your DRV40 and DRV80 Generation 2 digital mixing valve. This will work for the DRV40 and the DRV80. The first thing you're going to need to locate, and this comes with every valve, is your cable. Your USB to RS485 cable is what you connect your laptop and your valve together with and it allows you to do your programming. Right here you can see where the website is to get the driver. So now we'll show you on the screen where the ftdichip.com website is. Okay, That is the home page right there. You would go over here where it says drivers, then VCP drivers, which is virtual COM port drivers, then scroll down, and depending on your operating system, you would pick off the appropriate driver. Typically for Windows, you would use this one right here, and this would cover Windows XP through Windows 8. So just click on that, and it comes right up, and it's a zip file, so you save the file, unzip it, and install that for your driver. Okay? So once you have that, you're going to have to get the software. If you don't have the software already, you're going to have to go to the website, our website, Armstrong international.com click on products and services then water temperature controls water temperature control digital systems recirculation systems digital scroll down a bit pick off um, any any of these models here scroll down again to our download center and pull off the programming software, which is DRV40 programming software. This will work for all of our Generation 2 models. Okay, That's a zip file again, so you would save that file, unzip it, install it, and you'll be ready to program. Okay, we're going to change the temperature here from 120, our set point, to 130. So you just click on that, backspace those out, Change up to 130. Now you have to have the valve off if you want to program to it. So we just turned off. We hit set. Okay, it's done that quick. Then we're going to go over here to our set points. We're going to change our default value to 130 as well. That way, if the valve loses power, you'll still have the default set what to what you want. So you hit set again. Turn the valve back on. See, so we're just in the off state right now. And there you go. There's your 130 set point. So, a couple other things to take a look at while we're here on the set point screen. If you want to change the uh, your your alarms or your error setting, you would do that here. Um, these temperatures here are are degrees above and below your set point. So you can change those, and it will flash a high or a low error if you like to change that. And then your error temp right here is the temperature where the valve is going to shut down and go to full cold if it reaches this point. So right now we're at 158. You know, that's a little bit low. Maybe we increase it to 167. Once again, turn the valve off. Hit set. And it's done. The valve's back on. Just that easy. And that's how you change the set point on your DRV40 and DRV80 Generation 2 mixing valve.